Hi everyone, so we are going to talk about the next chapter to find out the roots of equation and this chapter is actually used when we have the open uh, solutions or when we don't have the XL or XU values, the lower bound and the upper bound uh, bracket values. So in that case, uh, if we don't have the XL and XU values, we can use uh, some other methods in order to find out the roots and we will go these we will go from these methods one by one so the first method in this regard is a simple fixed point iteration method in simple fixed point iteration method we have uh, actually a function fx we make it equal to zero and then we uh, find out the solution of x from that function itself for example, if you, if you see here, we have this x square minus 2x plus 3 this equation. So we will just take x out of this equation and we will make two in two parts. One is the left hand side and the other one is the right hand side. And we say this function is actually the g of x, this function. So we will uh, assume some random value of x and we will see what is the left hand side, what is the assumed value and what is the answer so for example if we assume x is equal to 1 and we put in this equation so we will get the answer equal to uh, 2 so it means that there's a 50 percent uh, approximate error for example this is 1 and the answer is coming fifth uh, 2 uh, yeah answer is coming 2 so it means that uh, we have to make a new trial or we have to increase or decrease this value in a systematic way so that this difference keep on reducing until and unless the left hand side becomes equal to the right hand side okay so this is the main idea for any function or any uh, equation that we have we will just take x out of that and we will make we will solve that equation for x and the other part of that equation we will call as g of x okay so this is pretty simple method uh, let's solve one example uh, this is uh, again the same thing how you can find out the approximate error the approximate error you can find out by uh, subtracting uh, the different by by subtracting the uh, previous value from the current value and then divided it by the current value and it should be less than the acceptable value the acceptable value of the error you can find out from uh, from the equations that we have discussed in chapter uh, chapter 1 I think okay so this is example 6.1 so we have this function the same uh, you can see here e minus x e raised to the power minus x minus x is equal to the function of x so we have to solve this uh, function uh, for the roots of x okay so let's uh, in, in the question we we have some uh, assumptions or we can assume some suitable value of x so let's solve this problem uh, in Microsoft Excel. So we have the f of x is actually equal to f of x is equal is equal to actually it is e raised to the power minus e raised to the power minus x minus x so let's uh, solve this uh, question so we, we we make some iterations we make some trials so we can say this is the first iteration and then here we can say x of i so the actual function is uh, is this value so we just assume this value is equal to 0 is equal to 0 and then we can say that e of x uh, x is equal to and we say this is x i and this is again x i plus 1 so here you can say that this is the uh, x and we can also call this thing as a g of x as I explained you before so this is the main idea uh, so this is I just put it here f it should be g 
okay so let's and then we can calculate the approximate error because we don't have the true value at, at the moment so we can find out the approximate error or you can say ea so let's make the first iteration when uh, 